We use the equation of volume to solve it. A full vial of drank, four by nine by 20, gets poured into a vial with a base of six by eight and a height of 30 inches. How high will the drank be in its new vial? So let's find out how many cubic inches of drank are in a completely full container like this. Length times width times height, 720 cubic inches of drink. We poured all of that into here. How high will it go in its new container? We have the volume of liquid that's in here, 720. We have the base. We don't have the height. We're only missing one variable, multiplication, division. The height is 15. Let's look at another problem, yeah? I have a 10 by 10 inch base on a box filled 10 inches high of water. If I drop a brick 5 times 4 times 5 inches into the box, how high will the water rise? There's volume of water in this first container and the brick itself has volume too. Let's figure out how much water this container had before the brick fell into it. There's a thousand cubic inches of water volume. But then we throw a brick into it all the way to the bottom. What's the volume of the brick? The brick is a hundred cubic inches. We add the water plus the volume of the Brick. Plug it in. So this is our new volume. How high will the water rise? So we need to find the height. We have the volume. We have the base. So we plug it into our equation. Do our multiplication. Do our division. The height after the brick goes into it is 11. They're not asking you how high the water is. They're asking how high will the water rise? The new height of the water minus the old height of the water equals how much the water rise. 11 minus 10. Our difference is 1. So the water rose 1 inch. And that's the answer.